let's do practice exercise 2 question 18 find the value of n where n is this stupid looking expression and we have choices in front of us some of them in terms of n some of them are numbers now for such question don't worry about n terms choose n to your convenience what is the first term this is the first term this is the second term this is the third term in the numerator similar in the denominator first term second term third term so I can choose n to my liking. So if I take n to be equal to 1, small n, small n equal to 1, that means capital N will have to be, or if I can say n1 will be equal to 2 into 8 upon 1 raised to power 1 by 4. If I take n equal to 2, that means value of n up to first two terms will be nothing but 2 into 8 plus 8 into 32. And similarly in the denominator, you will take two terms, 1 plus 16. And so on and so forth. So if you are going to n terms, now the mistake it just committed in this kind of question by the students is they start creating a general term for the numerator and denominator and then try to get an answer. But what stops you from getting the answer from here itself? n1 is 2 into 8 by 1, which is raised to power 4, 1 by 4, which is nothing but 16 to power 1 by 4, which is equal to 2. So put n equal to 1 in the choices whichever does not give you 2 that choice has to be incorrect now when i put n equal to 1 this gives me 2 this gives me 2 this gives me 2 d does not give me 2 none of these i can't say anything so we'll just ignore choice d and let us now look at n2 now n2 is nothing but okay we also had a 1 by 4 out here n2 is equal to 2 into 8 plus 8 into 32 so let's take 8 as common we will be left with 2 plus 32 raised to power and so divide by 1 plus 16 is 17 raised to power 1 by 4 which is nothing but again 8 into 34 by 2 raised to power 1 by 4 and sorry 8 into 34 upon 17 now 17 1 is 17, 17 2 is 34, which is 16 to power 1 by 4, which is equal to 2. So my answer has to be choice C. The other two don't fit in. Also when you look at N1 giving you 2, N2 which means when you go up to the second term again you get 2. So in all cases you will get only 2. In any case if you put N equal to 2 this gives you 4, incorrect. 2 square 4 again incorrect. The correct answer is choice C. For such questions don't worry about N terms. Take n equal to 1 or n equal to 2 and get the answer on that basis.